Welcome to Daron Yoga. So I take it you've been practicing yoga for a little while. You probably also enjoy it if you're on this video. And then you go to class and you love it and you get more flexible and stronger and then you ask yourself, what's the next step? You've wondered about your asana, you've wondered about philosophy. Maybe there's a tingling in your body, you start to feel certain energies. You start to realize how much breathing makes a difference. Would you like to know a little deeper, more breathing techniques except for that little kapalabhati that we do a tiny bit before class? Would you really want to have some time in the morning to practice together with your sangha, with your group, with your friends, with your teacher? This is where you start to consider something more, maybe a workshop, maybe even a teacher training. And a teacher training is far beyond teacher training. In order to become a teacher, what we seek is to better ourselves, to master the yoga ourselves, at least to a certain degree, so we can start passing it on to others. A teacher training is a place where maybe you have an opportunity to understand more the philosophy behind the yoga. And not just like in a voodoo woo woo way, but in a very practical way. Like, how do you use it? How do you use the yoga philosophy, maybe even combined with Buddhist philosophy, to really make your life better so that your mind is capable of dealing with the ups and downs as they come? Because some people think that when you're enlightened, ah, uh, everything is perfect. And that's actually true. The thing that's untrue is that the circumstances still are not great. You still, even if you are enlightened, go to the bathroom and maybe have a bit of a stomachache one time, and maybe your worker doesn't show up. A lot of things can happen even when you're enlightened. The big difference is how do you react? How do you deal with it? The training, the Daron Yoga training, is a training where we learn how to deal with the mind. We use the yoga philosophy in order to master our minds, in order to come to a place where we can actually be stronger, more focused, more centered in order to deal with life better. It is so much so that this is like your stepping stone, your first tool to get into that place so that later on, yes, you are stepping into the right direction for self-realization to know who you really are, to understand your true self. Granted, three weeks or so of a teacher training, a little more than that, is not what's going to get you to be enlightened. But it's going to give you the tools for that direction. So you got a much better sense of your body, your asana practice, even how to give hands on adjustments, your alignment. Wait, wait, what kind of yoga do you actually do there? I seen it called Ashtanga Vinyasa. Does that mean it's like pure Ashtanga? We're going to do primary, second, third series? Not exactly. We will go over Ashtanga as taught by Patapi Joyce and Krishna Macharya for sure. We'll go over the primary series really well and we'll touch on the second series as well. So if you practice that, awesome. Otherwise, don't worry about it because it will be a lot more of a Vinyasa practice. Okay, so you wonder. Well, Daron, you seem like a cool guy. Your program seems awesome. Who the hell are you? Big question. To really answer that question, you'll have to understand who the hell you are. And then you'll know who the hell I am. But, without being too Zen smart assy, let's go right into who am I, at least on the surface, okay? I'll give you a bit of the history of my life. In short, you want to know more, come to the trainings. I'll tell you all everything you want to know, more than you want to know, believe me. So, born in Israel, um, grew up there, lived a bit in the U.S. as a kid, kind of instilled a little bit of that I'm big American dreaming. Um, went through the military service in Israel and then kind of had all these big questions of who am I? And is this life worth living? And what am I doing here? And a lot of really existential questions. Started studying more philosophy, went through Egypt to India and spent there a great deal of time hopping and jumping from different spiritual teachers, Osho, Sai Baba, Dalai Lama, each one of them, depending how much I related to them, I stayed with them for a while, studied with them, practiced with them, 
When the time felt right, I kept on going. Ended up in Thailand doing Vipassana, in Japan studying with a Buddhist priest. And really more than all of these, I've constantly studied from the people I met on the road, having discussions, reading a book, whether it was Osho or Zen or any other spiritual book, and then talking to people about it and hearing their perspectives and then going into my meditation and growing from it. I had a spark. I knew what was going to happen with my life. I was almost ready to become a spiritual teacher. But luckily enough, my ego was not too big and I kind of felt, are you kidding me? So I left it all, felt like I needed to do a normal life, studied art in Israel for a few years, studied photography, a little bit of architecture, but mostly photography in Italy. Ended up in New York where I actually ran a photography studio, both art and fashion, for quite a few years, almost a decade. And all the while, I still kept on practicing some yoga and mostly different meditation practices. For a long time it was Tibetan practices, later on it was Zen practices. I love cooking. When I kind of quit the fashion world in, uh, who knows when that was, 2006 something, I went into cooking. Did some cooking, studied nutrition consultations, uh, nutrition consulting, that would be the more appropriate way to say it and later on infused all of those things into creating a yoga lifestyle. So pretty much I took all of what I've been living, put it into a book, and now I take this book, The Yoga Lifestyle, and I also infuse it into my trainings. So all I'm really doing in life is sharing with you my biggest passion, what my path was, and trying to find shortcuts for you to make you have a better life without necessarily going through everything I went through. I'm just going to give you the secret formulas that will help things happen a little better, a little faster. I'll help you see things with new eyes so you can recognize yourself and in your students how to give yourself and them the shortcuts so that we can all be happier and better much quicker. That's just a tad about myself. Right now I'm living in uh, <coughs> Guatemala by Lake Atitlan. It's pretty magnificent here. It's an amazing lake. We have views of volcanoes. We have bananas, avocados, just coffee, so much lushness around. Um, it's fantastic. The sounds of the birds, the sounds of the river flowing actually right through our land. I could call it like I own this river. Obviously, I can't own a river, but I've paid for borrowing it for a certain time. So you can go and dip in the river. Are you coming? Oh. You're not here yet, but it's an awesome place. Really fun. We can go down less than 10 minute walk and you're jumping into the lake and swimming in this beautiful, beautiful lake. Um, we're growing so much of our food. You want to come help us in the garden a little bit? Lettuce is coming up, radishes, cilantro, a ton of stuff, a ton. It's a, too long of a list to mention. We have our own chicken and we plan on having goats. It's kind of a dream come true. And my dream to make it really come true is that you come join me on this dream. So find a program that fits you and come down here. Come join us. Be part of this. Because this is not for me. If I don't share this, it's not as fun. So where am I today? I'm in awesomeness right now, right? probably get upset later on because something will happen. But don't worry, I'll get back to awesomeness pretty quick because it's hard to stay upset when you're living in this surrounding. When you kind of recognize that everything is temporary. So don't get too attached to whatever you're going through right now, your career or whatever it may be. Just like I'm trying not to be too attached to the center. And know that you can take a pause and come down and join us. And it's okay. Life will continue, you'll come back, people will remember you. So I hope you'll come and join me on this stream soon enough so we can have some tea together and chat a little bit more about your life and what you've been going through and your path. Because I'm curious. I love you.